Well, I want to thank you all for joining us this evening on our talk on smart and healthy kids. You know, we're going to talk about how to strengthen our kids' immune systems and give them the best nutritional foundation. And we have the honor of having our holistic nutritionist uh, joining us this evening, Marilyn Vandenbrink, um, who is going to just go into a little more detail on some of the nutrients and, and just some of the research oops, and studies not sure what's going on here. I think Dow is uh, screen sharing. You have to ask her to turn it off. Accident. Yeah. Don't screen share, guys. <laughs> kind of I think I, I have something problem. Uh, am I okay now? Yeah, yeah, don't worry. Just um, mute yourself. Thank you. I oh, think okay. you shared by accident. Sorry about that, guys. Um, oh. Yeah, so I'm really excited to, uh, to dive in because I'm going to be sharing some amazing information with my son and his journey in health and my children. And, and I know we're going to have some amazing testimonials this evening. And, you know, when you're looking at our children today, you know, the nutritional foundation for a lifetime of healthy mind and body is what we want to help you understand that it's so critical that, you know, that our children start at a, at a very young age. Um, you know, you got to look at from when they're little, when they're born, actually even when they're in, in your room as a mom, right? And you still have to make sure that they're getting the adequate rest exercise and you look at their diet and proper hygiene these are all the things that play a role in how our children grow develop and help to strengthen their immune systems and you know the nutritional needs of our children are great um, their body weight doubles many times from birth young tissues and organs are developing cognitive learning skills are developing metabolic rates are very very high Energy demands are enormous and nutrient rich diet is essential. Okay. Very, very important for our young children today. You know, when you look at poor diets, it equals poor health. So obesity, one in five in Canada are overweight. Skin conditions. So many children are struggling with acne or eczema, even ear infections. So many kids are, are being prescribed antibiotic after antibiotic. Allergies are very, very high. And I remember even as a child myself growing up, colds would linger for weeks. You know, I, I had a constant nasal drip. I had allergies growing up and I didn't, you know, I, I didn't grow up on taking supplements. We ate a healthy diet, but there was still something missing. And there's a lot of challenges as well with ADD, ADHD, diabetes, and more. Okay. We're going to talk about a lot of these things this evening. So critical nutrition Cellular, sorry, cellular nutrition is critical. So children produce 1 billion cells each day. Our, our body has over 73 trillion cells. Healthy cells process nutrients and provide energy, okay? So sick cells steal energy and cause disease. So all health starts at the level of the cell. And we're going to focus on cellular health this evening and help you understand how to get yourselves healthy, keep yourselves healthy and get your immune system, immune system strong. Approximately 90% of children do not eat the recommended five or more portions of fruits and vegetables every day. We know the challenge that our kids have today um, and one in five eat no fruit at all. Um, of all age gender uh, groupings, adolescents have the poorest intakes and their needs for nut nutrient rich diets are greater than that at any, uh, any other point. So our kids are really, really struggling. Some facts, average intake of whole grains among children is less than one serving per day. Most children frequently consume junk food and carbonated soft drinks. Children and teens have diets high in added sugars and only 20% use multivitamin and mineral supplements. And if they do use supplements, Mary Ellen's going to talk about some of the challenges we have. A lot of the children products are loaded with sugar and artificial sweeteners and, and artificial ingredients. Okay. So why don't we um, get what we need from our diet? Well, first of all, the one thing is fertilizers. They rob vitamin C. Soils are deficient in essential minerals such as calcium, magnesium, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and sulfur. And then our, our, the processing of our food, right? Milling, loss of vital lipids and sterols that we're going to talk a little bit about later. Fiber, B vitamins, 
blanching, loss of vitamin C and B, canning and pasteurizing, loss of water soluble vitamins. Okay. Then there's storing. You know, when you keep um, cold uh, foods cold and sealed in a crisper, um, you know, they have to be eaten as soon as possible. Um, so I think that's another challenge is, you know, when they stay in the fridge for too long, um, you're losing a lot of the nutrients. And then there's cooking, grilling, roasting, steaming, or stir frying. Foods also, um, again, lose a lot of the vitamins and nutrients during cooking. So there's a bit of a challenge with getting optimal nutrients in our diet, okay? And then you gotta look at, you know, what are kids watching our television or what are their friends consuming? I mean, my kids played a lot of sports and oh my gosh, the biggest challenge is when you're out of way at a tournament, all the kids wanna go to your local fast food places in between games or, you know, it was like crazy. And, you know, I was always bringing food to the tournaments and to the games because I knew that these fast foods are full of fats, you know, snacks are packed with sugar. And another challenge is a lot of kids even skip meals. Um, and again, there's a lot, not a lot of nutrients in our food and the soft drinks and sugar and phosphates is a challenge in, in a lot of our, our foods today. Um, and Mary Ellen, another challenge that we have in our young children today. Yeah, sugar is a big problem. And as many of you know, I was introduced to New Life over 27 years ago. And I actually got started because of my children. I was a concerned mom at the time. And my younger son, who, who was nine, had severe respiratory issues, allergies, asthma. And I was trying everything I could to help him out. And every time I went to the doctor, it was another inhaler, another you know, medication. And I, I saw the long-term side effects of this. So I started doing my own research. And it wasn't until we were having dinner at a coworker of my husband's that we heard about new life. And uh, of course, when I asked her what makes it different, she said, all I know is from Whole Foods has been around since 1958. So when I got David started on the products, just to clarify, these products don't diagnose, treat, or cure any disease, but it's amazing what the body can do. And I found it, it, it boosted up his immune system. And uh, now today, actually, he's a firefighter. So there's so many challenges that kids have. And when you look at the immune system, one of the most deadly things they can have is sugar. It actually suppresses the immune system. Do you want to change? Um, sugar, they say um, sugar can suppress the immune system and impair your defenses against infectious diseases. When you think of what we're going on right now, we definitely do not want our children's immune system slow. And it can start 30 minutes after ingestion of sugar and last approximately five hours. And you have to be really careful because sugar is not just because we're adding spoonfuls of sugar to food. It's hidden in crackers and yogurts and in all sorts of processed foods. So you have to really read your, your labels. And sugar can even cause allergies because it can cause candida in the body, which increases your chances and contribute even to anxiety and depression. And I mean, how many of our kids are suffering from that these days? It's, it's so, so common. And what it basically does is it causes a rapid rise of adrenaline. That's our stress hormone, right? So that's what makes the kids so hyper and anxious and trouble concentrating. And you think a lot of kids, they get up in the morning and what do they eat for breakfast? Cereal, right? So they have their cereal, they get the sugar rush, and then they can't concentrate all day in school. And it definitely reduces the learning capacity of children. And this is a great quote by Dr. Arthur First, the founding member of Neolife Scientific Advisory Board. And you think, can you go back then? Precisely at the time when young bodies' nutritional requirements are greatest, many fail to obtain all the nutrients they need each day. And deficiencies of vital nutrients can inhibit not only physical growth, but internal development, mental performance, and repair and maintenance of developing issues. Immune systems can be depressed as well, leaving the child more vulnerable to infection and disease. So that shows how powerful the role is of a good quality diet. And when you look at the Canadian Food Guide, I was so impressed they, when they improved it. You, it's exactly how New Life has been saying that we should be eating. Half of your plate should be all those dark colored fruits and vegetables. In fact, we should be eating about eight to 13 servings every single day. A quarter of the plate should be good quality protein foods and a quarter should be whole grain. And that's a real tough one for kids because most of our products are not whole grain. And you also wanna make water your drink of choice. And 
water is so important and especially for children, right? Because, you know, I, I know uh, my daughter-in-law who's a teacher, she makes a deal with the kids, whatever your age is, that's how many sips of water you have to take every half hour, right? So you have, you have to get them doing it because they need it for their muscles, for nutrients to eliminate waste it's so and even for their blood it's so so important even digestion and so why do children need vitamins well they play roles in their bodies like vitamin a is for healthy eyes and bones b is for energy and metabolism vitamin c for immunity and antioxidant function vitamin d for healthy bones and teeth and also immunity and vitamin e for healthy skin and antioxidant function and minerals play a big role too. And those are hard to get because as Nata was saying, a lot of the soils now are depleted of minerals, but they need calcium, magnesium, iron, zinc, iodine, copper, chromium, and manganese every single day. And the macronutrients, those are those like proteins and carbohydrates and fats. And you know how we talk about the mini meal list where you should combine those foods, where our kids need those foods combined exactly the same way to have healthy snacks and meals. and phytonutrients. Those are the, um, you know, the powerhouses. And you know, a lot of kids don't like to eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. Like you saw the studies, but you know, they, they don't like the taste and you can get really creative. Like I know you can grind them up in pasta sauces, you can put them in smoothies, but they need those protective nutrients from whole foods, from our fruits and vegetables every single day. And there is a lot of research showing that a multivitamin mineral uh, improves attention and iron and zinc help children think, right? So uh, we want our kids to be able to perform better in school. And I find too, if they're lacking certain nutrients, sometimes that suppresses their appetite. Because I know often when the kids get on the children's products, they start eating better. And the parents are like, it's so strange. And it's because they've been lacking these essential nutrients. So let's talk about some of the issues kids have had. Over the last year, we've been hiding behind masks. So we haven't had so much flu. Um, but it is caused by a virus and it spreads by respiratory droplets through coughing, sneezing and direct contact with contaminated surfaces. And one of the best things you can do here is, you know, of course, strong immune system, but wash your hands, right? And we've been doing a lot of washing our hands over the last year, absolutely. And a fever is the body's normal response to fighting infection. And it's more common in children because their body is developing their immune system. So don't just treat the thermometer, treat the child. If a child has a very mild, mild fever, you know, make them feel comfortable. Sometimes it's not always best to give Advil or Tylenol right away, because then again, you shut down the body's ability to fight it. Of course, if the fever goes high, absolutely, that's different. And uh, actually, your child's behavior is the best indicator when something's wrong. And ear infections. Oh gosh, I know when my kids were little before I heard about Neolife, they had ear infections all the time. And they're very common in kids due to the structural development of the ear, but actually 80% of them get better without antibiotics because they're viral. So, and it's so important to, like I find a lot of times you get that good bacteria back into their, their child's system. You find that they don't get these secondary infections because a lot of times it's just a cold that's lingered on too long and it creates the fluid and causes it up. So if you, I know with my granddaughters, uh, not one of them's ever been on antibiotics, but they may get a sniffle for a day or two, but it doesn't go into that secondary infection like your infections or bronchitis or pneumonia, right? And food allergies, oh my gosh, like such a big problem with kids and it's increasing in severity. 27% of children with food allergies also have eczema. That was my son, right? He had both. 30% of children with food allergies also have respiratory allergies. So it's, it's big, big problems. It can create all sorts of problems. And the common foods are like milk, eggs, peanuts, soybeans, wheat, tree nuts, fish, and shellfish. So that's, that's the main ones. And general allergies, well, you, you see so many kids now, it's, it's normal, like everybody has allergies. And worldwide sensitization rates to one or more common allergens among school kids is approaching 40 to 50%. That means like almost half of the kids so like asthma, allergic diseases, all those, those conditions are, are just huge with our children. And uh, Nat, did you want to share what we can do to help our kids, you know, focus better in school? Yeah, I, I'm so grateful. I mean, Marilyn, when I look back, I was introduced over 30 years ago to Neolife. And initially, like here I was in my 20s, but when I look back, 
to my years growing up, I remember, you know, being tired. I remember, you know, my, my, I had really low energy and then the allergies got really bad where I was using antihistamines pretty much year round. And when you talk about, you know, the diet and, and gut, I know a lot of it was related to my digestion and my gut. And uh, so I'm so grateful. I mean, 30 years later, no allergies, um, amazing results. So when my, when I started my own family, I was so excited to, you know, that I had these products right at my fingertips because I really, you know, understood the value and the importance and, uh, and some of the challenges, you know, a lot of our parents have today is, you know, hyperactivity, you know, there's so many children struggling with this. And, you know, the, the solution is, healthy lifestyle uh, and prevent preventative strategies right products made from whole food concentrates based in nature and backed by science because as you can see there's a lot of gaps especially in our kids diets because they just don't like brussels sprouts right i know my little guy lukey oh my goodness i tried to bribe him for years to eat brussels sprouts and he wouldn't right so there's a challenge with some of our kids some kids like it and some kids don't right um so nutrition for all three stages of growth and development and that's what we're going to talk about because our children's nutritional program delivers optimal nutrition for healthy cells strong immune systems that are essential for strong um, and healthy bodies for a lifetime of, of vibrant health. And this is so important that we introduce our kids because so many families today are really, really struggling with, with our children. And we have a special guest on this evening, and I would love to have Hattie come on and share Caitlin's journey and maybe your journey as, as, as raising a young child and some of the challenges you had, Hattie, and, and also how nutrition had played a really big role and the impact it made um, in your daughter, Hattie Shepard. Welcome from California, right? Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Honored to be here. Uh, I am a, a mom of five and a grandma of 16, soon to be 17. And my number four daughter is developmentally delayed. And uh, she was born. Um, and I, I noticed right away there was a difference, but she was not diagnosed with any anything until she was two years old but I noticed there was something that wasn't quite right and as she developed it um the you know there's a developmental gap that happens you know there's our markers the milestones that our children are supposed to hit and and her the gap between normal she was always just right outside the normal and it grew larger and larger and larger as she grew but what Mary Ellen was sharing about sugar, that played a role even in her cognition. Um, so I'm going to try to condense this. I don't know how long I have. The story is very long. And anybody, if anybody wants to call me, you can give my number out and I will talk to you if you have more questions. But she had a diet. She would not eat meat. That was she would not. Um, she had developmental apraxia. So what that means is her mouth muscles were not working right. So as I was nursing her, trying to give her the best nutrition, the, the milk would come out her nose. Well, we didn't know that it was developmental apraxia. We just knew there's something wrong. And so they checked for cleft palate and all different kinds of things. Lots of specialists, lots of doctors, and uh, still no answers. Um, she went on lots of antibiotics from about six weeks. And I had not zero knowledge. I, at this point, Neolife had not come across my, my um, radar. And I thought I was doing the best that I could do for my daughter. I was nursing her. And, and um, so anyways, that went on and it escalated. So when she did start eating food, it was cereal. And cereals just converts to sugar in your body. You know, it's like, and in addition to that, she has a, um, a, a mutation that really makes it hard. Of course, we found this out when she's in her 20s. It makes it very hard for her to detoxify. And she cannot, um, she does not absorb at all um, synthetic supplements. So when you look on the side of your cereal or on your, or even if you're making homemade breads or whatever, if you're not grinding your own wheat, you're, you're going to have a problem with the enriched 
flowers. So um, she was getting synthetic stuff and it was creating buildup in her brain. And so anyways, fast forward, she um, saw lots of doctors in her uh, growing up years. And um, when, she, when she hit about 18 years old, we find they started running some of the right tests. We found out she has celiac disease. She had Hashimoto's, that's low thyroid Hashimoto's. And so we began seeing a nutritionist that actually started directing me in how to cut out stuff and, and sugar was the first thing that was uh, eliminated from her diet. And of course we had to eliminate wheat because she has an allergy. She had a tremendous amount of allergies actually all growing up. We thought it was all regional where we were living. Like we live in the central Valley of California when she was about, I think four or five, we moved over to the coast. Her allergies were less. Some of it was environmental, but a, a, a tremendous amount was the food that she was eating. So anyways, um, the doctors ordered the right test. We kind of got on the right road, but I had no idea what trienin, the lack thereof of those lipids and sterols, the effects of that on my daughter, because what she did, she, she experienced, she had experienced anxiety, depression, um, her, she wanted to stay in bed until, I mean, you know, not getting out of bed till noon was a common thing for years for her. And when I would go to the doctor saying something's wrong, this isn't how she is normally. And they would just say, oh, you know, you need to get her exercising. So she walked on treadmills and she did all sorts of things to try to get her body healthy, but she lacked nutrition that at the end of the day, she lacked nutrition. So we made another, our family moved again about four years ago and Neil life came across our radar, um, actually for a second time at that point, but that's a whole different story. And her cognition within four months, she was um, out of bed early. She had more energy and her cognition was, was growing, ever expanding. And I, I was finding myself needing an education plan for her. She's learning to read. Um, she still has, I mean, she is developmentally delayed. There's no denying that, but she is growing and moving forward. And even, even this last weekend at, at uh, the convention, my sister-in-law, who was a guest, came over and said, she's getting eye contact with us. This is different. And, and Kate, my sister-in-law knows her. So, so she knows where she was. She knows where she's been. And she even sees a new, a new stage. So we're super hopeful. And she takes a lot of product. And I I probably would not have known to jump into the product if we hadn't been on that 10 year journey with all those doctors and the nutritionists because they were putting her on a tremendous amount of supplementation because they recognized that she had a low um, absorption. And so, um, so anyways, but a, a huge missing factor was Trian and it just really was, that is an amazing product. And she takes uh, she, she at least has two every day, sometimes four or six. And she also takes a lot of salmon oil that is, um, really so helpful. And she's on a lot of other products. So that's kind of in a nutshell. That's great, Hattie. And you know what, we're going to talk about some of those nutrients, especially the trianin and the salmon oil, because I know that that does play a really big role and, and so many functions in the body, especially if, as kids are growing and developing. And um, I shared with you, you know, my journey with my son, you know, um, he had a, a brain injury uh, a, a year ago last day in April. Um, and, you know, when he, when he had the brain injury, uh, our, the doctors at the hospital basically said he'd have a four to six month window of recovery. And, and then they, you know, basically said that after that, he'd have to go to rehab. And I just remember, you know, my heart, I just felt so helpless as a mom and, and he was in the hospital, we couldn't see him because of COVID. And, and I reached out to John Miller, one of our scientists that I'm, we're going to talk a little bit about later. And all John Miller said to me was, Nada has Jack been on the products his whole life. 
And I said, yes, absolutely. And he says, was he taking salmon oil? Was he taking carotenoids? And has he been on the protein? I said, yeah, every day since he was a baby. And he said, mark my word, whatever they tell you, um, his, his recovery will be, he will come home a third of the time faster. And that hope that I had in my heart just stayed with me. And he was home in six weeks with 100% recovery and never had to go to rehab. And, you know, he, the products were allowed in the hospital. So that did help his recovery while he was there. But John Miller said, it's not just the products you're giving him now. It's the nutritional foundation as young children. So the best we can do as, as parents is give our children the best nutritional foundation so that when they are subjected to trauma, injury, viruses, their bodies are ready. They're, they're able to fight off. They're able to rebuild and repair. I'm going to talk about some of these nutrients that play such a big role in why meal life. And, you know, you hit it on the nail. Our whole grains today. When I saw this 30 years ago, I was like, I had a like, wow, I didn't know this, that they were milling and processing our grains. And that's why our breads lasted, you know, weeks and our cereals last years and our pasta lasts forever is because they remove these critical oils from the grain. They're no longer in our food. OK, we're now third, fourth generation kids not having these essential lipids and fatty acids and essential means you need them. So they're no longer in our diet. And even doctors are making powerful statements saying that it's, it's the most important health problem in America. So trend and grain concentrate that you were talking about, Hattie, is one of my favorites because this is really what helped me with my hormones and energy and, and um, helped me with stress at my job because I was working as a police officer. So I had a lot of stress with shift work and these grain oils. Oh my gosh, they were the foundation to just giving me that energy and, the, and, and helping me with the stress. And these essential lipids and phytosterols from whole grain, less gluten than a bowl of gluten-free cereal, developed from a, from a hospital research study, which helps with cellular efficiency, right? And this is where you talked about the nutrition was not getting into Caitlin's body. The cells were not functioning properly, right? So these green oils, they surround every cell and the cell membrane has this lipid layer that allows nutrients in and waste out. So if you're not getting these green oils in your diet, which we're not, because all of our greens are milled and processed, our cells look like the cells on the left. So no matter how healthy you're eating, the nutrients aren't getting in and the waste is not getting out. Okay, so we have this grain oil in a liquid vitamin for babies. And my kids grow up on this product. It contains, you know, the tran grain concentrates. It has whole food antioxidants, all from fruits and vegetables for immune system, 12 important vitamins and minerals. It's easy to take. It's liquid. It tastes great. There's nothing artificial, no artificial colors, no artificial flavors fantastic for our little guys until they start having teeth. And this is my, um, a, a friend of ours, uh, the, some of you um, know uh, Courtney, um, her, her daughter Clark, who just loves the products. And the big sister was eating salmon oil and she tried putting it in her mouth because she wanted the salmon oil like her, like her big sister, but she loves the products, just loves the products. So when you see kids, So there's a liquid vitamin, but she wanted the, the salmon oil because her sister was chewing the salmon oil. <laughs> Such a great story. So that's a great way to get the liquid vitamin um, in their food. You can put it in just about anything. There it is. She just loves the liquid vitamin. <laughs> so, so once they go from the liquid then they, and they start getting some teeth, then we have the vita squares. And that's when they can start chewing. And I say when they can start chewing carrots or something hard. Okay. Um, again, it contains the tranin, vitamins and minerals, nothing artificial. No artificial colors, no artificial sweeteners, no gummies, no color, no preservatives in this product. Okay, and it tastes really good. So then there's the Vita Guard. This is for the immune system. Okay, this is um, an antioxidant. Um, that's like your fruits and vegetables. It has zinc and selenium, which is really important. Again, nothing artificial in this product as well. So these are the two products that my kids upgraded to um, after doing the um, the liquid. And then you add the protein. This was my favorite, especially I find kids for breakfast. It's a challenge. 
Um, and you're right, cereal, right, Hattie? I grew up on cereal. Most kids grew up on cereal, not understanding the sugar, right, and the challenges it does. <clears throat> but my kids have had Neolife Shake every morning in a, in a sippy cup. And I have not gone a day without this product in 30 years other than when we do a detox. Has been my morning start every single day. Um, it's delicious. Um, again, high quality protein, all 22 amino acids, mixes easy in water. My kids did like it in almond milk or soy milk, so you can use milk for the kids if you want. And Mary Ellen, these are your grandkids, and they grew up on the product. Yeah, they uh, they're they were getting ready for daycare because their mom's a teacher on the other side of the city, and they had their shake every morning and uh, kept them healthy. The the daycare worker used to say they were like bulletproof. They're the only kids in the daycare who never got sick. Mm -hmm. And protein plays a big role with immune function, right? Because it builds builds T cells, builds immune response cells. So really, really important. And again, there's nothing artificial. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of protein drinks out there on the market that I would say is safe for kids. Um, even when Jack was in the hospital, I'll never forget this. The dietitian told me that they had Jack on a high grade, good quality protein. I was all excited. I couldn't wait to find out what it was. And well, you know what it is in the hospitals, right? It's not a high grade quality protein. It was loaded with sugar. So I was like, please, can I put him on the Neolife shake? And they proved the Neolife shake. So I was so grateful that he was able to take this in the hospital as well. And it does help with glycemic control response. Gets that blood sugar in that glycemic control zone. And this is where the highs and lows come in. And I'm just going to have Joe, um, um, Leone, just share um, Sean's story. Because I know he had some trouble with focusing and, and um, issues in school. I think the shake really made a difference. Leone, could you share? Hi, yeah, thanks, Donna, for asking me to um, share. Um, hi, everyone. I just wanted to share a couple of stories here. Um, when Sean... When Sean and James were, were young, what we did, we faithfully gave them their cereal and their hot chocolate in the morning to go to school. Well, unbeknownst to me, that was the that was the detriment to their health until I met Nada. And and what happened was with our youngest son, he um, you know, he was always not focusing, he was always not paying attention from, from a young age. So when she asked me what I, I gave the boys and I told her, she, oh my gosh, what are you doing? So we changed, we give them the shake and we started the Vita Squids and Vita Guard. And within a very short time, uh, I think it was a couple of months, the, the report card came back and it said, comes to school alert, ready to learn. So obviously with the, with the, um, uh, with the shakes and you know, that would be his part of the start of his day because he used to come home and he used to say, mom, I'm always tired. You know, and because the blood sugar, he would, it would crash, right? And with the other son, he had allergies too. And we started him when he was a young teenager and he used to have all the time, he would have his allergies to ragweed every, every time, every summer. So when we started now, this time on the program, on the kids, we started, he, he started to have like nose drips and he had all, all this, um, uh, sneezing and red eyes and all that and within the first year you could tell that it was diminished diminishing the next year completely gone his allergies were come allergy yeah awesome. and the kids are, are fine and you know what it, and i'm so grateful yeah I'm so grateful yeah i watched that yeah. transition leone watching his yeah. eyes get red and totally disappear so it made a huge huge impact so yeah. you know when we're when, yeah so you know we have a basic breakfast pack program that's great for kids and teens which it, it, it includes a, a multivitamin pack and a protein shakes so we're going to talk about some of the, the ingredients in this in this in this pack and it's kind of like the foundation um but there's also um other nutrients um Marilyn, maybe i can have you join us here and talk about the importance of fish oil in our kids yeah, fish oil is so important. And the hard thing is, is that a lot of pregnant women are told they shouldn't eat fish because there's so much mercury. But when you look at how important it is during pregnancy, the fetus makes 250,000 nerve cells every minute. And at six weeks, half of the weight of the fetus is brain weight. And this is where the role of the omega-3 plays such a big role. And by the third trimester, 70% of energy reserves of the fetus are directed to brain development. And once the mother gives birth, it can take up to four years to, re, to uh, replenish that DHA. 
And you think about it, most people don't know that. And what does that cause? Well, a lot of women get postpartum depression. And DHA is definitely the king of brain fats. It governs almost every conceivable mental function. So it's so, so important. Um, it also enhances in kids, brain function and memory, uh, improves dyslexia and attention deficit disorder. It improves concentration and learning. And you heard uh, uh, Hattie say, like, what a difference it's making in her daughter. It decreases aggressiveness and irritability. A lot of kids who are angry and inflamed brain will cause you to feel angry. And it improves moods by upregulating the serotonin. So, so, so important for our kids' health. And the nice thing about the Neolife salmon oil is I've seen so many salmon oils that actually say, don't take when you're pregnant, don't take if you're nursing. And you think about it, when you need it the most, you need a pure product. So the Royal College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists, they actually featured Neolife salmon oil in their magazine because of the fact it is complete, has all eight parts, but it's so pure. So it, it's tested for over 200 contaminants. And a lot of people say, well, what difference does it make if it has all eight parts? You think if you eat a piece of fish, it has eight omega-3s. They all work together and regenerate each other. And if you just get so much better results. And also a lot of products out there are only tested for maybe five contaminants. Uh, the Neolife product is tested for over 200 with an allowable detection of zero. No mercury, no lead, no toxins, so, so important. And it's from pure Atlantic sustainably uh, uh, cold pressed fish. And what makes it really unique is I've never seen another product out there that was proven in clinical trials to reduce inflammation by 68%. That is huge because that's what omega-3s do. They reduce the inflammation in our body. And that's why they're even for allergies, for everything they are so powerful. And I think that's probably one of the reasons why it played a big role in Jack's recovery with his brain injury because of that. And that's, and the surgeon at the hospital even said that they were going to put him on an omega-3 to reduce inflammation so his brain would heal faster. So I was so impressed by that. So thank you so much for sharing that, Mary Ellen. And then when you pair the, the salmon oil with the liquid vitor, the VitaScores and VitaGuard, that's like a, a basic foundation program for children. It gives them, you know, a great start to, to their health. And now, did you want to share uh, your uh, Courtney's daughter's story? Absolutely. So Courtney said to me, how am I going to get the salmon oil? I said, I don't know. She goes, well, I'm going to see if she'll chew it. And I said, I don't know if she'll chew it. She loves it. Salmon oil, mommy? Yeah. How do you eat it? Okay. Chew it. What, what are you chewing right now? A hard lemon. A hard kind of lemon? <laughs> Isn't that incredible? Do you like the salmon oil? <laughs> yeah. Well, it plays such a role. There they are. So cute. Anyways, when she told me she was chewing it, I couldn't wait to, to I said, please send me a video. I have to share this with, with moms that say, oh, my kids don't like the Vita squares. I'm like, oh, the Vita square tastes awesome. There's no excuse, right? So you know what? When you're looking at our little guys and then we develop into our teens, I mean, oh my gosh, their dietary guidelines and the RDA for them, it, it's, it's scary and they're not getting the critical nutrients that they need. And I have to say that watching my boys grow into their teenage years and, and I saw a huge difference playing sports, their recovery after injury, hands down, when they would say, when the trainers would say, your son is out for the season, Luke was told that three times in his football career, he was back on the football field within two to three weeks. Incredible recovery. And again, I really believe because the foundation or kids need that nutritional foundation. Again, their needs are greater. They're more active. It's so important. So the pro-vitality is a great foundation. And then we do have a multivitamin called Formula 4. Um, this is something that I did take because I had really bad PMS and severe fatigue, adrenal gland exhaustion. So I added the Formula 4 to my program. And this is what my boys um, took, especially when they were active. So it's a great multivitamin because it has extra iron. 
okay? Especially for, for, for girls as well that, that are menstruating, okay? But the, the Pro Vitality is a great foundation because it has the grain oils, it has your carotenoids, which is fruits and veggies, has your omega-3 and a vitamin mineral supplement all in a convenient little pack. So in this box, after one month, it's equivalent to consuming 12 pounds of whole grain, 80 pounds of raw fruits and vegetables, and 10 servings of, of omega-3 fish in every box. Okay, so now Mary Ellen, I know there's other products and nutrients that are also important for our kids that we can stack on that pro vitality. So if you want to share a little bit with us. My uh, kids and grandkids, they love the all C because vitamin C is important for immune support and healthy teeth and eyes. And it plays a big role in viruses. So you think it's so, so important and it's delicious. It's cherry flavored, it's chewable, and even adults can, can take this too. In fact, each cap tablet is the equivalent of four tree ripened oranges. You get everything in the orange except the water. And it also has rose hips and acerola cherries, which are nature's richest uh, sources of vitamin C and an exclusive Neoplex concentrate with everything from the orange but the water. So if you have whole food vitamin C, like this product, the absorption is so much higher because I, I know I saw Paul Pitchford, he wrote the book Whole Foods and he says, 10 milligrams of whole food vitamin C is equivalent to a thousand of the isolated ascorbic acid. And that's normally what you get in most products. So this product is absorbed, it's good for your gums. Other products that are great for kids are the calcium magnesium, especially for healthy bones and teeth, especially for the teenagers, teenagers when they you know, start getting into the pop and everything, it's so important to protect those bones. As I mentioned, the all C for immune support, the acidophilus probiotics to, for that healthy balance of that good flora. There's so many things in our environment that upset that flora. And, and if they have any uh, tummy issues, like I know my son used to get stum stomach cramps all the time, the aloe is great. It's also great if they get like a, a cough or irritation or canker sores or, or sore, you know, if they have braces, they swish with it. There's so many uses for the aloe. It's one of my favorite products. And so why would we consume aloe? Well, it's good for constipation. Do you know how many kids I've had that just can't go to the bathroom and they go for, for weeks, right? So you add the aloe with the probiotic and, it's, and within three weeks, it regulates your system. Uh, again, for immune system, normal blood sugar, respiratory, it's great for inflammation and, and uh, irritation. It's soothing for the digestive system because what happens when you're stressed? You, your digestive system shuts down. So the aloe has that herbal tea blend, which calms it down, good for healing and inflammation and reduces feelings of stress. And our kids right now have been going through a lot of stress. So the key with aloe is um, it's the gel only. If you sometimes you'll see, you know, that there's warnings on aloe, it's because they use the latex, which is the outer coating of the leaf. That is toxic. You only want the gel. But this, this blend of the three times herbal tea blend it has so many benefits and it's calming. It has, this has a glycemic edge. So it's good for blood sugar, vitamin C. You get a little bit of vitamin C in there and it's got some electrolytes, potassium and magnesium. So, so some essential uh, um, uh, minerals and also quality, a very, very high quality because of this gel only uh, factor. And it works, I get great results. Another great thing that's easy for kids is our tray. So I know we have a special drink around our house where we put aloe and tray and a little bit of sparkly water. And my kids think that, is, grandkids think that is like the most amazing drink ever. So the nice thing about this is it gets those, uh, you know, like all those berries, like pomegranate, SIE, green tea in concentrate. So it's standardized every single batch. So you get lots of antioxidants. It's not just a, a juice, right? It's got all these, uh, like, you know, all those uh, pomegranate, because, you know, to buy all those berries, um, I know, um, you know, my granddaughter, so they can eat a whole thing of berries in like one go. So it's super, like, so this is a way to give them a sort of a density and diversity of a variety of berries. And it's got 20 times the punja collagens, a fresh pomegranate, five to 10 times the resveratrol, a fine red wine. Of course, there's no alcohol in it. And seven times the antioxidant power of ripe red tomatoes and six times the alpha lipoic acid of fresh spinach. So it's a powerhouse, great for kids. And our vegan D, it's very, very small. So it's easy. You can either crush it or the kids can uh, swallow it. And again, they need the vitamin D right now too, uh, because uh, especially in North America, you know, we're, 
we just are not out in a bikini, you know, 20 minutes a day, every single day. We just don't get the sun. So this is nice because it's food source. It's not made from sheep wool. Lanolin is actually, uh, uh, you know, from all whole foods and it's been proven to be absorbed, which is so, so important. Very good for immunity. And when you look at all these products, there's so many different products. Everyone says their product is the best, but, but who do you trust? Well, researchers did a study and they found from 2007 to 2016, there was 776 products marketed as dietary supplements that had hidden active ingredients that were unsafe or unstudied. And I know even when I took my holistic nutrition course, there was products that were called professional lines. It just meant they marketed to professionals. It did not mean that it's a, a better product. So the difference with Neolife is it's definitely a name you can trust, right? Like I mentioned, when I heard that it had been around since 1958, it's in over 50 countries around the world and approved by every single health board where it exceeds or meets the standards. Uh, they have a pharmaceutical license and, you know, just everything. They're backed by science and based in nature. It's a whole whole different thing. So when people ask me, well, what do I look for in a supplement? I say the first thing you want to do is find out what it's made from. Because anything from the ground is natural, right? It doesn't, but that's not what studies are showing we need. Like, especially you saw that study that was published in Lancet. It's saying we need whole grains, fruits and vegetables, and wild salmon. And that's what Neolife uses to make their products. And they're all GMO free. And they're backed by our scientific advisory board. So you can be 100% sure that's what's on the label is in the bottle and nothing else. And also what's in the bottle gets into the body. And the reason they have this high quality control is because of this board. It's not just good looking doctors who endorse the products. The founding member was Dr. Arthur First, one of the top toxicologists in the world. He actually was a co-founder of oral chemotherapy. But when he's doing his research in cancer, he found nutrients in food to prevent all sorts of diseases. And he set up our prestigious scientific advisory board of world renowned scientists and researchers that are involved in the research and development of the products. And many of our products take decades to come to, to market. And they do a lot of work with the USDA Center of Disease Control. And one thing that was really impressed me, there's a lot of good evidence-based research on the products. Our products are independently tested, published in peer-reviewed journals, such as the New England Journal of Medicine or the American College of Nutrition. So very, very well substantiated. Oops. And uh, Nat, if you wanna share how we can, uh, you know, uh, actually help get the toxins out of our children's health? Yeah, I mean, this is another issue that really affects our health today. Um, you know, or other ways of, of just making sure that toxins are kind of getting out of our life and that's pure uh, filtered water, which is really important. Um, you know, using chemical-free moisturizers, um, be careful with medication, eating a clean diet. So again, cutting out the sugar, um, in packaged foods and canned foods. Um, there's so many, um, it's actually a lot easier now to buy healthier foods than there was, you know, 30, 40 years ago. So, and environmentally safe cleaners, so important around our, around our kids today. And I, I'm going to share with you that Super 10, which is a heavy duty cleaner that replaces like your Fantastic or your Vim or your Comet and things like that, those toxic cleaners. Jack, my, my oldest, when he was two, he drank it because he thought it was aloe. And I just gave him a glass of water and off he went. So our, our cleaning products are safe, <laughs> they're environmentally safe, and they're non-toxic and safe for the environment. So amazing products to help to, uh, with the environment and, and cleaning your home, washing your fruits and vegetables and your laundry detergent as well. I know, Mary Ellen, you had, have a lot of um, kids with eczema when they use the laundry compound and take the salmon oil they can really get their eczema under control and, and that, and the laundry doesn't irritate their skin as they're healing. So, so other ways and in our, our LDC, which is our light duty cleaner that we use to wash our fruits and vegetables. This is just a, a an example of how it um, removes oil from the food. Cause it, we saved over 25,000 penguins in Cape town, South Africa in oil spill. And when they spray your food, your pet, your fruits and vegetables are sprayed with an oil-based pesticide. So this, these, this product called LDC, I wash all my fruits and vegetables, and um, even the stuff I grow in my garden. The people go, why do you wash your food? Well, I said, because farmers are still spraying out there, right? So there's still stuff that's landing on my food. So I wash all my fruits and vegetables in LDC. Um, so 
you know, parents do make a difference, right? Your children become what you are. So be what you want them to be. And, you know, we need to set the example for our kids. We need to eat healthy. We need to make sure that we're setting the example for them. And it's so important because once your kids leave, like my guys now are driving, right? And I know they still go to Mr. Sub and they might go for chicken wings, you know, with their friends every once in a while. But I know when they come home, they have their shake, they take their vitamins, they know the importance of eating fruits and vegetables because that is what we talk about all the time, especially to strengthen our immune system. Okay. Um, so some of you are thinking, well, how do I get a hold of these amazing products? Well, we have a wellness club. Neolife has a wellness club. It's free to join, right? That's what's so exciting. And as soon as you become a member of this wellness club, you automatically get 15% off. And you can even get between 25 and 30% off if you go on auto ship. So for example, that vitamin box of Pro Vitality is a month supply. You add two shakes to that pack called the breakfast pack. It's a month supply. So if you take it every day, you want that coming every single month. And when you do that, you get wholesale and you can get all your shipping back in six months where they give it to you in loyalty, loyalty points and you can spend it on other products to try. There's also a referral program. So many of my customers, not business people, are getting their Vitality Pack and their protein shakes free every single month because they referred three people. So once you start feeling good, noticing a difference is easy to share with people and then you can get your pack free. Very easy to do. There's also different challenges, weight loss challenges and fitness challenges that you can join as well. But this breakfast pack is kind of like your foundation for teens and, and adults. So, you know, it's a great way to start your day, a vitamin pack and a protein shake. Um, and again, or if you just want to start with the vitality pack, uh, the, the, the bigger pack at the bottom is if you want to do weight loss. So that's another way to, um, as well, where you're doing four, four bags of protein and that's because you're doing two protein shakes a day, but the best seller is definitely our breakfast pack. Okay. There's also, um, a group, um, a Facebook group that we can invite you to It's called Neil Life Healthy Living Community. We have over 8,000 members already part of this group where people share their product stories. There's video testimonials, written testimonials. Many of our Canadian team are on there sharing, um, sharing their personal stories. So if you want to learn more about the product and the science, great um, Facebook group, and we can invite you to this group, okay? Um, then there's one more option. I'm not going to go into all the details, but one thing I want to share with you is 30 years ago when I looked at this company called Neolife. I had no intention of getting involved in the business. I was a police officer. That was going to be my career. But as I started helping others and my family's health improved, especially my mom with her fibromyalgia and her arthritis, I got so excited to share. And I really wanted to get involved in a business where I could help people and really impact people's lives. And that's what this business has done. And where can you start a business for less than a hundred bucks? You know, if you just want to make a little bit of money, a lot of money for me, I wanted to leave my, my job as a police officer. I wanted to have time freedom, stay home and start a family. And because the products worked, I was able to do that. So if, you, if you're curious about that and have some questions, just ask the person that invited you. We have another group, a Facebook group. It's a more business related where so many business leaders share their business journey and their business stories as well. And we can invite you to that group as well. So it's been an amazing journey for me. I'm full-time in your life. I left my my job at age 30 and my husband left his job as a police officer at age 35 and this is what we do full time because I truly believe in in just helping people and having that impact in people's lives so again if you've just joined us tonight to try the product um, you can join for free again to get that discount as a member if you want to learn earn a little extra money just ask us how to do that and if you're not ready that's okay you know I wasn't ready right away either I said no three times then I started taking the products and I wanted to research and find out more and then when I did that's when I made my decision to give the products a try so we're here to help you every step of the way so I'm going to stop the recording and offer it up to any questions that you may have